there are several good funds out there that are solid yep. that are earning i hate to say it double digits but you don't be afraid and just leave it in the bank let it earn some money people are are complaining too well the interest rates are too high for me to refinance so start looking for uh two-year loans three-year loans the ones that we know they're going to have a prepay make sure you understand the prepay mm -hmm. and how that works but you, you, you're it's only going to be for a short term because yeah. we really believe that rates will come down yeah a yeah, little we do. and there'll be more <laughs> programs that are offered that's i think the thing that we're missing the most right now mm -hmm. is that all those programs that were available to investors are really shrinking yeah. and disappearing. So, so that's the thing we need to keep our eye on mm -hmm. is making sure that those DSCR loans are available. Now, I mean, um, and the consensus between most economists is that the average for next year's interest rates are going to be right around seven and a half percent. It's not going down much, is yeah. it? And that's just the average for the whole year. Yeah. So, when you have an investor loan, you can go ahead and tack on one and a half to two points or, or 2% on top of that. So you know that you're going to be at, you know, nine, nine and a half percent. Yeah. Not much lower than it's, we are in hard money. It's not. Right? And so just know that and use that underwriting and moving forward yep. for your margins, because yeah, please, please do not underwrite on a basis of something potentially going down. Right. Um, underwrite for you know what like, you know for what you know and that's and right i'm i'm ultra conservative when it comes to that like when i underwrite a property to buy if it doesn't cash flow at 12 percent interest interest only i won't buy it yeah i just i won't now do we get rates lower than that of course we do but you want to know that if something happens can this thing at least cover itself at 12 percent? that's right so I, I will have to hand it to uh, silver hill financial part of Bay bayview mm -hmm. um they're 30 year fixed rate program for a commercial property back in the, um, you know, before 2008 was a game changer because as a, as a business owner, as a property owner, um, you know what your expenses are going to be going forward. Yeah. And, uh, the typical loan before that was a, a balloon note of three, five, seven years. And what always happens because it's Mur Murphy's law is when it's time for you to refinance, that's when the economy is going to be right. down and you don't have enough money. Uh, to, to show that you're making uh, enough money to cover the, the payment, which yeah. means you're gonna have to bring a chunk of change to, to close, uh, refinance yeah. your property again. Yeah. So <coughs> knowing what you have is always the best. And another piece, just, you know, if, you know, real estate, if you own real rentals, that's fine. If you have a business, you need to be knowing what your production is per person mm -hmm. and what your EBITDA is per person. Um, Explain what EBITDA stands for. Earnings before taxes, interest, and depreciation, and amortization. Uh, so I might have mixed them all up. It's there, before but, all your junk is taken yeah. out. So, <laughs> so it's your it's your gross it's your earnings before you know you pay interest. You have you calculate depreciation or amortization, all of those things, um, and taxes. So gross, <laughs> kind of, uh, mostly. Mostly gross. Not really. I mean, because it has all of your operational expenses yeah. in there. Um, so you want to know what that is per person and you want to be tracking that because if you see that dip and tracking it every month, if you see that dip, that, that could be the warning signs that, Hey, we, you know, either productivity is down or the market's changing and we're not getting in what we, what we right. need to get in to cover, <coughs> to cover what we have. So, That's right. So you, it really needs to be broken down per person. And if you have money sitting in the bank, put it, don't sit it in the bank, let it earn some interest, put uh, it in a fund. There's ours is great. Doing really well. I'm kind of fond We'd love of it. to have more money, but yeah. there are several good funds out there that are solid yep. that are earning. I hate to say it double digits. Uh, but you don't be afraid and just leave it in the bank. Let it earn some money.